business, cherish the business. How are you doing? But it's great. I'm doing very fine. We thank God. So, let's begin with yesterday. The State of the Nation Address. President Ekufuado um, spoke for a couple of hours addressing various aspects of our national life. Are you satisfied with what you heard? I must admit, I've not consciously gone through his message because I was somewhere in the voter region and I came 3 a.m. If I can get that for my voice now. <laughs> I've not slept tired. Yes. So um, I would like to read the message myself and then do my thorough analysis of that. I was somewhere all going around constituencies campaigning, so I didn't listen to it. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. so uh, if you spare me, then we may look at other areas. But how has the campaign been so far? Oh, great, 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 great. It has been wonderful, and uh, uh, things are moving in the right direction. Poised for victory tomorrow? Uh, by his grace, I'm going to go through, and Professor Joshua Labi will be announced as the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress. It has been observed that the stack seem to be against the other six candidates in there, other than John Mahama. It looks like a lot of support has been seen. I was at the national election for executives, and I could see newly elected NDC executives dancing to the uh, Mahama Bobole Bobo song. How do you feel about that? You see, um, sometimes the way you people present it, uh, the day they announce the, 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 the election, the newly executive, the, the newly elected people, uh, you, you should have just simply watched out. Um, delegates can vote and they go. So you see that the cars that you saw in the morning, they were no more there. The buses, mm -hmm. they come, they vote because they had mm -hmm. accommodation for them for only one day. So mm -hmm. they vote, then they leave. So a lot of the delegates left. But the room was still full. Who were those people there? Dancing the ball, ball, ball. So let's not deceive ourselves with crap politics. Let's not. So you, who, who do you think was there? Oh, they were just, uh, what do you call it, people who have been bashed to go inside to sing and dance and to uh, portray as if uh, everybody uh, supports one candidate. Because, like I'm telling you, you should have done your, your, your this thing. You have realized that the buses that brought people from the north, the buses are no more there. From Ashanti, the buses are no more there. Even Great Accra, I voted. I was in there. You, you follow a lot of people. So the main delegates left, and then the room was just full of some people, bastard from people who crack politics. Then they started singing Mobile Bobo. That's the this thing. But we are not going to go into our next election with a campaign message called Bobo Bobo. You see, we yeah, we have to go with a message, a real message. So um, well, that that when when, when they would let well, this, my concern that. and what I was asking was specifically the national executives themselves who were dancing to the song. Um, but there are a number of issues, and we know we have you for just. No, any time they play the song in my house, I dance. Okay. It's a song, Bobo Libo, I dance. Okay. So, okay. So, so there's no problem when. <laughs> no, no, no. Any time they play the song, my radio, I dance. Okay, uh, um, even though you didn't listen to, like you said, you haven't gone through it thoroughly, it yeah. ended, uh, the president's speech yesterday ended with a clarion call that political militia groups must be disbanded. He says that he's going to, in, he has asked his party, the MPP, to invite your party, the NDC, for a dialogue, preferably, preferably within a week, after which he's expecting, you know, a final solution to this matter. Your thoughts on this? Oh, I think that it took that from me. He took that for me because um, about 10 days ago, um, I was on an interview at um, UTV. Yeah, and they asked me about this, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, uh, the, the party security there. And I told, him, I told them plain, it's clear when you can go and check from UTV, the, 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 the records are there. I said, when I become the flag bearer, I'm going to engage now that I do one on one-on-one as leaders of the party for us to discuss and make sure that we put this thing behind us. So I believe that he heard and he has also kept it in the way in his speech. Because I said that about two weeks ago, I think so, UTV, it is there. Yeah. So it's when you ask me this question, I will only tell you that he's just re-echoing what I said. Yeah. So, Mr. Ofusampo, for your national chairman, has said that tomorrow during the election, he does not expect to see any group coming to keep security or protect the ballot for any candidate. Uh, are you going by that yourself? That is the right thing to do. We should leave this to the national security. We have national security. We should leave it for them. So, I think I agree with him, and that's the right thing to do. But even now, I see you entering with a number of aides. Are you not working with your personal security? No, 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 no. We just came from the voter region. And so the way my house, these are my, uh, uh, my campaign team, right? 
we landed from the voter region around 3, 4 a.m. today. And, and um, uh, they told me our program at, um, at Doom TV this morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So they didn't even go home. Uh -huh. So they slept in so my you, house. So you don't yeah. have any So this is security. not a military wing. So you, we don't, you don't have any personal security? You don't have any group of men who walk with you and, ki and guard you? No, 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 no. I have my campaign team. So if you attempt to slap me, they'll, they'll also protect me. If you attempt to slap them, I will also, I also, I also, I also, I also protect them. Okay, so what you if I attempt to slap you down now, your man standing here will protect you. Well, I don't know if he's tall enough to <laughs> <laughs> protect me against you, but, but, but he will try. <laughs> well, well, then, okay, so let, let's talk uh, finally about tomorrow, yeah, and how ready you are as a candidate and how ready your team is uh, for victory. Yeah, I've gone around the whole country and uh, I've given my message of hope, <laughs> and um, uh, I'm very confident tomorrow Vishal Abi will be made as the flag bearer because uh, my message of hope is quite very simple. I've assured delegates that if you vote for me, when you vote for me, this is what I'm also going to do for you. I've told them it is not enough for somebody to tell you, vote for me, I can win, and the person leaves. The person might say, vote for me, I can win, and I also work with you to transform your lives. And I've given my message. Uh, I told them that... Um, uh, with uh, Professor Joshua presidency, the grassroots will be in the center of governance, and I will consult them in appointments. That is one I told them they were very happy with that. I assure them that every constituency will be given a decent party office under the leadership of Professor Joshua Labi. I told them that they brought that in. In fact, I started saying this last year, and some um, members of our party through the Facebook and WhatsApp insulting me all over. Today, their candidate is giving the same promise. So I'm happy. I'm pushing them. When you want to lead people, right, you need to promise them so that they can judge you. You don't say, vote for me, I can win, and you go. They, there's no justice to judge you. So I give, right? So I say, party office. I also said, um, we will just make sure that every constituency gets a bank account where we put in an amount as fixed deposit. Where the executive will using the interest to run the constituency. Mm. They bought that in, and that's very good. I also assure them of... Um, uh, youth employment, where I will use um, agri, I will use uh, science and tech, I will use sports, I will use um, tourism to create thousands of jobs for this country and do also benefit as members of our party. I told them that. So I've given a lot of uh, my, my campaign uh, messages. I've assured the women uh, that um, uh, I will create uh, what you call the Women Empowerment Fund, not under the ministry, but directly under the presidency, to support women to grow in their businesses. I've told them that. And this message has sunk very well. And I'm sure based on the message that I give, the people will give me the mandate mm. so that we, the, we all team up together mm. Mm. to make sure that we work on all this to transform our lives. You know, 2016, for example, mm -hmm. let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. The electoral commissioner took ballot buses to 72 tertiary institutions in this country. 72. Out of these 72, the NDC, we lost 69 out of the 72. When you are going to university, nobody feels a form whether you are NDC or MPP. Okay. So how come that out of 72, we won only three? And it's been historic that the MPP yes. often wins in higher education institutions. So you see, our own children, when they go to the, 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 the university, by the time they come back, they change their mind. Why? Because they say um, their parents have been members of the party, executives, they've not seen any transformation in their lives. So they move to a different party where they believe that there might be some transformation there. Okay. Now, you can't force your son to vote for your party. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell your son that my life is not transformed. Vote for my party. Mm -hmm. Because if your life is transformed, your son will see it from the soup that you cook in the house. He will see it from the amount of money you give him weekly. You follow? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that I am going to work with them so that we come out with my, we, we work on my policies which will end up in transforming our lives for our children to see. And when they see, then they'll come back to the NDC. And this is why I want to lead the National Democratic Congress. Are you suggesting then that the NDC has not been able to transform the lives of even their members in the past administrations? What I'm trying to tell you is that our people refused to vote. And before then, they said because we were not, uh, what do you call it, uh, helping them. And that's what exactly what happened.
So I'm not saying it, they said it. But you see, this issue of I vote for you and you help me, that is a kind of clientelism that grows into party militia groups being formed. No, 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 I, no, no. When I support a party, I should see something no, coming no, to me because no, no, I support no, no. It's a party. Not, no, 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 no. It mm-hmm. is the policy that you come out with that will transform the person's life. Mm. It is not you taking Gary to the person in his house. Okay. It is the policy. Okay. And all what I've said throughout my trip is about my policy which is going to help us transform our lives. Mm. That is it. Finally, on this matter of the, the younger generation not voting in the party, at least when we go with tertiary education institutions uh, figures, the general secretary of the party, your party, says yeah. people should marry within the party. That's the solution. Do you agree? We should marry within the party. Yes, yes. NBC people l- l- should l- marry l- 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 Let's put it this way. Let's yes? marry outside and bring them in. I think that will be more. <laughs> That's evangelism that by marriage. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much, Professor Joshua Alabi, for yeah. joining us this morning. Thank you too. Thank yes. You. Uh, like he, like you heard him say yourself, he came um, to a sister station and he decided to uh, grant us a few minutes. We are very grateful for your time. All the best tomorrow. Okay. That's it for.